Thank you very much for clicking on this video now. In this video, I'm going to do the last formation out of the West Coast Offensive Playbook that I'm going to break down for you guys. I think by now you've seen enough out of this playbook. It's a really, really good offense. Very easy to learn too and a great, great passing offense. Now before that, yes, I'm wearing a new shirt. If you haven't noticed during the last, for the last few videos, I've worn the same shirt because I recorded them all in, on one afternoon. It was pretty late and I had to on vacation the next day didn't bring my ps4 with me so that's why i wore the same shirt yes i do have more than one shirt that i wear regularly and yeah secondly only 75 uh, only 75 only 25 percent of my viewers are actually subscribed to this channel so 75 percent of the people that watch my videos do not have a subscription to my channel which i think is pretty sad so if you don't want me to be sad then please do hit the subscribe button now this video is not going to go in depth about this formation because it's not the best formation in the game, which is in this form in this playbook, which is West Coast uh, West Coast Punch, obviously. But spread double flex still has uh, its values, and this is what I want to show it to you today. Now, first, I'm going to show you how to get four wide receivers out on the field, and then then I'm going to show you how to beat every single coverage, pretty much. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to flick the right stick to the right as many times as I have strong slots, which then would put a tight end in at uh, this spot right here. I only then want to sub, uh, sub in a wide receiver on that right outside spot. And then I have four wide receivers on the field. I'm going to show you this uh, when I'm on the field. Okay, I'm going to quickly just make one adjustment and then I'm going to call the play slot out and this is a play that's really really good against the blitz especially against the uh, big time one for six uh db sting two bus blitz because it's great against cover two and the heavy blitz now i'm quickly going to set up the blitz which i've already done a video on just check it out right there but now i'm going to show you how to beat it all you want to do uh, all you want to do to beat it is you want to streak both x and triangle and then you want to read uh, if, whether the user is going right or going left against the cover two, and you just throw the opposite streak. So if the user, if the user was on this safety and he ch chose to go uh, left, then I would uh, throw the right streak. I'm going to show you how this looks now. Okay, so this gets open. Possession catch. Make sure to uh, pass lead it to the inside. So once you're throwing it to X, uh, pr push the left stick to the left, all the way to the left rather. Just to make sure that he gets that diving animation. This also, oops, this also works for triangle. I'm going to show you this right now. So boom. Against triangle, it's a bit of a tighter window because to the left side it's a bit of a tighter throw. But against, uh, but to the right, it's really, really, really easy. Now in case uh, the your opponent adjusts and puts both of those safeties in main coverage uh, on those guys so that you can't throw neither of them you can still try damn it i didn't get the ball off you can try to throw it it sometimes works if the safety is too far away if he's too much backed off if it's back if he's backed off too much to say it in actual english language but in case you see that both x and triangle are going to be covered you are then going to look to hit R1 on this angle route, this Texas route, it's how it's called. You can say both angle and Texas. Both of them are correct. And this is just another really, really easy read for you to make. So you read whether the user is choosing the streaks. Uh, if both of the streaks are covered, then you can look to check down to R1 really easily and get some easy yards right up the field. Now, this is of course only against a cover three uh, cover two blitz cover two blitz on it okay let's get into cover three then what i would personally recommend you do against the cover three is audible to four verticals and look to hit x right here in that window with the possession catch um he got bumped a little bit so it, he, it the rut didn't get as open as i would have wished but it still got open. I'm going to show you how open the triangle rod gets right here, which is just an easy, easy pitch and catch to make. 
One more time, I'm going to show you this. He can stay cover three for verticals. It is the player want to go to. And yeah, right there. Just an easy, easy window to it. Now, what I would personally recommend you to do is I would um, call for four verticals and then either streak route Michelle or wheel route him. I would personally streak him just to get another route to go out there. One more thing that your opponent's user has to be aware of. And then just try to throw the X shot. It should get completed. It didn't right there, but you saw that it gets open really, really easily. Now, uh, two more things uh, to beat a cover two. Why shallow cross and PA comebacks both work? Because they have post routes. Would you look at that? Beautiful, beautiful post routes. I'm going to call the play cover to sync, and I'm going to show you how this uh, square route absolutely destroys this cover two. Yeah, it didn't right there because it got man matched. I'm sorry. Soft squats will do that. That's their job to get uh, to get man matched, which meant even though the, I was in a cover two zone, the outside zone played man coverage, which should happen. That's what that zone does. But now a cloud flat doesn't do that. I'm going to show you how open this no gets now. So we're just going to wait right here and throw that with a possession catch. All I would do for this play is pretty much uh, block the halfback. That's all you need to do for this. It's really good. A simple adjustment too. Just block the halfback and it demolishes cover two. Now one more time I'm going to show you how open this gets now. Let's make sure the pressure is picked up. Can even throw that with a low pass. If I have an accurate QB and ultimate team like uh, Brady would probably be really good in that spot. Then I can also low pass that, which is just pressing L2 or LT, the left trigger for Xbox users, while throwing the ball to square. Now, if your opponent then decides to man up square because and he still wants to run a cover two, but just man that position up. Then we go to PA comebacks, which also has a great man beating or cover two beating post route rather. So right there, you saw how beautifully open that that got. What I would still recommend you to do though is probably PA comebacks. I would personally probably streak the circle receiver just to keep the right deep half a little bit further out there. So I'm just going to make sure the blitz is picked up and not get it apparently. Apparently, yeah, one more time. Um, that's audible to PA comebacks, streak, um, circle, and there you go. I want to just pass lead that up the field and get it for a nice, easy gain. Now, what you what you might ask now is what if your opponent throws a cover 4 at you? A cover th 4 can be pretty similarly attacked as a cover 3. But one more thing you can do against a cover 4 very effectively is you can call half egg mid draw and just get all the yards. Like, I'm talking all the, all the yards, which in this case were 2. So let's try that again. Okay, let's go there. Okay, so you see that I get some pretty good block in cover four. It's pretty, uh, pretty weak against the halfback draw. So if your opponent is throwing cover four at you and you can't attack it with any other play, then I would go to a halfback draw. A halfback draw is also great out of the gun bunch formation. Just to show you this too. I have not talked about this in the video I did on gun bunch. Click right there. Great offense. I uh, did not talk about how good the halfback draw is against the cover 4, so I did that now, thank me later. But you can see how this absolutely kills a cover 4. Juke. And you're in, on to the second level now. This is, at the, uh, this is the end of the video, something that I want to talk about uh, to you is... I want to switch my offense, I don't want to just keep running west coast, and I'm still going to uh, run west coast occasion occasionally, but I'm going to uh, switch offense, I got, I just got Michael Vick uh, in Man Ultimate Team, so I want to switch to the New Orleans Saints offense because of the QB blast, blast out of the Taysom Hill package, really really glitchy stuff, stuff and also 
some other great formations. I'm probably going to do an ebook on, or rather not an ebook. I'm going to do some formation breakdowns out of for the New Orleans Saints offense too. So stay tuned for that. I'll make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're interested in, in that. Glitchy offense, in my opinion, you can really utilize a scrambling quarterback, which is really nice. Just really effective running the ball in general. In men ultimate team, also some great running formations. Now I'm not, I'm not going to make this video about about the New Orleans Saints offense. Once again, this uh, gun spread double flex, really, really good formation. Just something that if your opponent somehow has defense for everything else that you throw at him out of gun bunch or out of the far tight slot formation. I've also done videos on that. You can still come to the gun tight slots formation here and you can still come to the gun spread double flex formation and still have some good offense for you. Make sure to know which plays would beat which coverage because this formation especially does not work against any coverage. You need to know that four verticals primarily beats cover three and cover two. It doesn't beat man coverage, so just be aware of that which plays uh, beat what. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate your time. I hope this isn't the last video that you are going to watch from me. Once again, only 25 people that, uh, 25 people, 25 percent of people that actually watch my videos are subscribed to my channel. So make sure to do that. If you like my content, I'm out of here. Peace.